What's up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King John City Four, and hopefully, you guys are having a crazy day. I'm pretty sure most of you people are still in school and are being good people. I'm pretty sure nobody's messing around out there and playing daylight. This is how you eat a Big Mac, nigga. <laughs> Cause what the fuck? <laughs> Dude, come on, son. Fight, son. Come on, son. Today, we're gonna be talking about your favorite game of all time, and no, it's not Minecraft. Mine time. No, it's not Grand Theft Auto. Oh! We are going to actually be talking about Call of Duty. And yes, you're going to like the game no matter what by the end of this video. Actually, guys, do not buy the game. The game sucks. The game is garbage. Stay away from it because the company sucks. The DLC sucks. Do not bother buying Call of Duty Infinite Warfare or its future games. Buy yourself, I don't know, a gnome from Walmart. It's actually more fun by the end of the day. So anyways, crazy people. Lately, the Call of Duty community has been spreading out a lot of rumors about Call of Duty 2017. But who knows if they're actually real or not? Because people are just speculating. That's about it. You know, there's just, they're just thinking about like, oh, is this, this going to happen? You know, is this going to be taking place in this year? Blah, blah. Who knows, man? Because it's not, it's not really confirmed. Because there hasn't been any kind of footage being leaked or anything. So lately, Sledgehammer Games has tweeted out, you know, a happy 2017 thing or a happy 2017 tweet or whatever. And they had like a gif where they showed a hammer with a bunch of numbers in it. And it went from 2016 to 2017. Like it just spin around like a bunch of numbers and then it just stopped at 2017. That's what happened. And also in that same tweet, Sledgehammer Games said that it was the year of the hammer because of the Zodiac sign. But, you know, this other, you know, channel that I was watching, The Gaming Bolt, uh, they mentioned that the Zodiac sign for this year is actually a rooster. Which is also, you know, similar to the one in 1945, which is also a rooster. So supposedly that mentioning the Zodiac sign on the tweet, it's a sign saying that, hey, we're making a World War II game because, you know, this is actually the year of the rooster. And the last time it was the year of the rooster was 1945, which is World War II or the end of World War II. So... I don't know, man. People are just speculating. People are just making clues about this because they want to get hyped for the next game. And me too. I want to get hyped and want to do good and for sure want to come back to my old glory days because, you know, it's kind of weird for me not to do best class setups or any kind of gameplays with that kind of associated game, you know, with Call of Duty because you guys know me. I do Call of Duty gameplays and all that shit yearly. But this year, I'm skipping it. You know, I'm still boy boycotting Call of Duty because of Infinite Warfare. It fucking sucks. But next year, goddamn, if it's actually World War II... It's going to be a hell of a time for me. You know, Boots on the Ground for me is pretty much where I started from. You know, Black Ops 1. I started with the old school weapons in that game. Even though they were kind of modern because of the AK-74U, the Commando, the Stoner, the M the uh, the uh, LMGs, you know, the M40 and all that shit. You know, even though it felt like kind of modern, still, that kind of gives me a little bit of experience with old school weapons. And I did not play World at War either, so I don't really have that much experience with a Thompson or with some other weapon from that era. So I'm, I'm thinking like I might be actually kind of good. But at the same time, I will suck. I don't know, man. I don't know what's going to go on if I, when I play World of, um, World of War 2 or whatever it's going to be calling itself. And um, one thing that I'm really wondering is how big are the maps going to be? Because seeing that they want to compete with Battlefield 1, supposedly turning into World War 2 and shit, if they really want to compete with Battlefield 1, they got to make bigger maps. They got to make multiple path maps. Stop with this three-lane bullshit. Make multiple path map don't make it super large like freaking stonehenge from call of duty ghost like no not that but you know good enough to make it like multiple path and you know try to advance in several different lanes like that will be great enough of this three lane bullshit so um, that's like my main question about next year's game if it's actually going to be world at war that war 2 or whatever it's going to be called you know hopefully it's a great game but um who knows, man? This is just a this is just a random ass clue, to be honest. Like, who the fuck thinks about this? Like, oh, they said the zodiac sign, but it's actually a rabbit, and you know, this comes back to this year of 1960 where they fucking played Vietnam and shit. Like, who the fuck comes up with that shit? Like, really? <laughs> so, I like I don't know, man. What do you guys think about the situation? You know, do you think World War II is gonna happen next year? With Call of Duty, of course, not real life, because that shit already happened a long time ago, but. But who knows, man? At this point, I just, all I'm just gonna say, if it does happen, I'll probably do good at the next game, and I will go crazy uploading the next game. I'll probably do my best, and hopefully, I end up in a clan, or hopefully, my old clan members like Gotcha Good or Psycho Kills or Nuclear Pro, you know, my old teammates can come back and play some Call of Duty, because we're all missing out this year. 
we are holding out. Even my clan leader, Nuclear Pro, is holding out and shit. Because this year's game is just fucking plain sucks. <laughs> I tried out that four hour beta or whatever it's called, and the game just sucks, man. So that's it, guys. All I wanted to talk about today, you know, Call of Duty is going to World War II, and is it or not? You know, that's my question to you guys. So, um,. To be honest, I think they're just trying to compete with Battlefield 1 because, you know, they got high-ass sales. They got so much hype that it could possibly be World War II because they want to compete. You know, they want to compete. They had to put out almost similar content and thinking and making things like the people from Battlefield 1, like, hey, we made a sequel, but it's actually not. It's actually Call of Duty. So that's how Call of Duty is. They did the same shit with Destiny, even though it's from the same company. Call of Duty tried to compete with itself with Destiny. That's why they released all this sci-fi bullshit. Because they thought Destiny was going to be the next great thing. And it's actually not that good. But a lot of people think it is. Like to me, like it's really not that good. I like the grinding, but it's not like, wow, you know, it's the game of the fucking year. Like fucking Overwatch. So those are my thoughts, people. And just give me your opinions about, you know, what's going to happen next year, Call of Duty 2017. Are you going to buy it? Are you hyped for it? Because after this, you know, you never know it's going to actually hit to World War II. So that is it. Make sure you subscribe for more. You guys want to hear more topics about Call of Duty and also about my other channel about, you know, gameplays only. Um, I'll start working on it like this week and hopefully I can release the channel pretty soon because I already want to get rid of some of the gameplays that I have saved on PS4 because it's, uh, it's taking up a lot of space. So that's gonna happen pretty soon i'm not sure but i'll announce it later on so that is it subscribe for more you guys want to see more stuff